What's going on guys? So today we're going to talk about what in my opinion is the best collar ever. I've gotten a lot of messages in the last couple weeks about what collar I use on Kyra. I always make it a point to show the collar in all of my videos just because I think it's really cool. So I'm going to tell you guys about it, how you can get one and how you can get it customized in your liking. So let's go. You may be wondering, where have I gotten this sweet piece of American made, nylon wall approved, Kyra approved collar. So this collar is made by an American company called Tactipup. I use this collar for pretty much everything just because I can afford new harnesses, new leashes all the time. I bought one collar that I wanted to last and I wanted to make it work for everything I do with my dog. I ended up buying the Tactipup collar based off of recommendations from other friends in the dog world who have used these and they seem to like them pretty well. This particular collar is their personalized two inch extreme collar. Hence, that's why I bought it. It comes with its own very own dog clutch. And what do I mean by that? If you're dot diving and you want your dog to take off, imagine this being your clutch, right? You're riding a motorcycle. Motorcycle, a Malinois, it's the same thing. You're holding on to your clutch and the engine's going under you. It's trembling, it's just ready to take off. And you pop the clutch and your dog does a wheelie taking off off the dock, right? That's what makes it extreme. So actually when I bought this, I was like, I don't really know why it has a handle on it, but I knew that I wanted the handle. So much in fact that at first they sent me this collar without the handle on it and I was like, no, I need a handle. At the time, I didn't know why I needed a handle. Just something inside of me was saying, you need a handle. Maybe, maybe that was just my inner me telling me I need to get a handle on life. Maybe, maybe I need to get a handle on my finances or everything else that's going wrong in my life. But by God, I have a handle on my dog. This handle is actually fairly decent for training. Uh, I use this handle for dock diving every time we're on the dock. And also this handle has become pretty handy for me. Ha, <laughs> handy. It's become very useful for me when I'm grabbing the handle and I'm getting ready to pull my dog off of a bite or something of that nature. I actually really like having the handle for this and it's very well made, it's very sturdy, it's never ripped, it's never pulled away from the threads. I've been using it for about a year and it's in as good of condition today as it was the day I bought it. And I've absolutely put this thing through the ringer. When you buy the customized dog collar, then you can get a name embroidered in the dog collar. If you don't wanna go this route, you can also get where there's a patch, just an area for a patch on this part and you can put whatever you want on there. You can get different patches for different days, whatever you want to get, do not pet patches, whatever's your style, and throw a patch on there and it'll work for that day. However, if you do buy this one, you also get a small area for a patch on this one. You can buy this exact collar in two inch or one and a half inch. You can also have the handle taken away if you don't want the handle, and you can also do patches in one and a half and two inch far as I know, unless that's changed. I use the two inch because I really like how it spreads out the distribution of back pressure that's gonna be put on my dog's neck. I don't wanna put too thin of a collar on my dog because that's gonna make all the weight of the back pressure in one area on her neck and kind of choke her out a little bit. So when you have a two inch and it just distributes that back pressure a little bit and you're not gonna choke your dog as bad with a two inch collar as you would a very slim collar. Tactipup also sells leashes, harnesses, and if you're super extra, you can buy some Rexpec goggles. I do not have goggles. I have no reason to have goggles, and they cost money. And the same reason I have not fixed my broken chair, because it cost money. You can buy this exact collar for $80. Um, 
I know that sounds like a lot for a collar, but you honestly will never need another collar once you buy this. Can't imagine ever breaking this thing. It's so well built. If your dog is still growing, you can message them when you buy your collar. You can let them know what their neck measurements are now and what they're expected to grow into. And Tactipup will make the collar where the smallest point of the collar will fit your dog now, but the dog will actually grow into the collar and you can just keep loosening up the collar as the dog grows. As you can imagine, my life has been hectic for the past week. So I didn't get a chance to do a vlog with Kyra. I've not got to work with Kyra in probably 10 days. It's been a very wild week for me. That's why I'm just doing this collar review today. A couple people asked about it, so I thought, hey, I'll just make a video on it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. They didn't pay me to make this or anything like that. I just have been asked. And if you have any other collar brands that you would recommend to people, drop it in the comments, because these are a little bit expensive. Um, and not everybody may have $80 to put in a collar. Um, I sure didn't. I got it for Christmas. All the people from my Twitch stream that watch my YouTube videos, I sincerely apologize for not being live for the past week. Um, life's been crazy and I was not able to stream. So I promise you guys, I am coming back to Twitch. We'll be doing that again very soon. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, tell me why, and I'll make sure to get better on it next time. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and y'all have a great day. Peace.